everyone and welcome to another episode of the Unlocking Fitness podcast. I'm your host Sarah Pitts and in today's solo episode we're going to be discussing uh, what it takes to become a successful personal trainer. Uh, So I hope you enjoyed this episode and let's just dive in. So many coaches believe, trainers believe, that if they're not succeeding as a personal trainer, it's because they don't know enough. And actually, there's some new thinking on that. And here's why I say that. Now, people hold this belief because the industry is packed full of training courses that only focus on building our knowledge of a subject. So it's logical to think that if we don't understand something, more knowledge is the answer. And I used to think exactly the same thing. I mean, I spent 20 years thinking that it would be my next qualification that would be the answer that I'd been looking for. I thought getting a master's degree in sports injury would be the solution to helping people with their injury problems and that I would be more respected by physios with it. I mean, it wasn't, and I wasn't. But then I thought that becoming a corrective exercise specialist would be it, then becoming a soft tissue therapist myself, then a functional movement specialist, and every kind of specialist in between. And while each of these qualifications taught me more about the subject, they didn't make me successful, or actually particularly happy. And something always felt like it was missing, or not quite right. So now I don't think that learning more is the key to being successful. And the reason I think that is because I realised that over the years I'd accumulated an abundance of knowledge And through a lot of trial and error, I'd managed to apply it to many different situations because I could. And each time I came across a new situation, I thought it would be the one to make me happy. But I never stopped to think what I actually wanted from my business. And nobody taught me how to create that for myself. So I ended up doing what I thought I should. And ultimately, I realised that being successful starts with knowing yourself. So we fast forward to today, I'm in control of who I work with, which means that I can choose the people I know I can help the most. And it means that everything I choose to do with my hard-earned knowledge and skills is centred around making me feel a deep sense of satisfaction in my work and that I get paid accordingly. I'm a two times best-selling author on Amazon, I'm a Simspa and NSCA approved training provider, I'm a coach developer for UK Coaching, and I'm a team, I'm one of a team leading business development for a multi-million dollar business in the US. And what it really boils down to at the end of the day is that if you don't know yourself, you can't know what will make you happy and you can't build a fulfilling or successful business around it. But in personal training, there isn't just you to consider. And that's why I'm going to share with you three secrets that are fundamental to your success as a personal trainer. So firstly, there are three boxes that you must check to experience true freedom doing what you love. Number two, there's a cookie cutter method that makes it drop dead easy to stop working with crappy clients. And number three, there's one reason why even the most amazing clients quit and a shockingly simple solution. So the secret number one, the three boxes you must check to experience true freedom doing what you love. Now, the money-grabbing global learn companies will have you believe that being successful as a personal trainer is all about what you know, being able to offer it to everyone, and simply creating the, the right training plan. But that just isn't true. If it was true, every personal trainer would be successful. Yet 90% quit within their first year, and according to a survey by origimpersonaltrainingcourses.co.uk, almost half, in fact 43%, feel like they're stuck in a career rut. And the reality is that to be as successful as a personal trainer, there needs to be a balance between you, your clients and business. And it's that balance between what you know and what you want for your business, the type of clients you want to work with and what they want, and how you package your services to appeal to them. So your clients don't care what qualifications you have, they simply expect you to have them. They just want to know if and how you can help them. But if all your eggs are in your knowledge basket, you'll fall into that deathly trap of trying to teach your clients what you know in an effort to make yourself feel valued and respected. So secret number two, the cookie cutter method that makes it drop dead easy to stop working with crappy clients. 
Now, when we first start out as personal trainers, we have this rose-tinted idea of being able to share our passion for health and fitness with others and help them experience the ways that exercise can transform their lives like it did for us. The trouble is, when we start working with clients, the doubt and fear creep in. We realise that there are loads more personal trainers with far more experience and knowledge than us. We work with clients who are constantly letting us down or don't seem to value what we do. We end up working the most unsociable hours ever. And if we have the good fortune of finding clients that are perfect for us, it's more by luck than judgement. Eventually, after wasting thousands on courses that don't actually give us any practical application or the opportunity to earn any more money, we start resenting having to work at the times of the day when all our friends and family don't have to, and feeling bitterness or jealousy towards those personal trainers who seem to have it all figured out. And when we've been here a while, we decide enough is enough and give up on the rose-tinted dream we started out with. The thing is, this whole situation is completely avoidable if we can answer just five simple questions. One, what are my strengths? Two, why should people follow me? Three, who am I trying to lead? Four, where am I trying to lead them? And five, how can I make their journey easier? If you can't answer all five of these questions, you will spend your personal training career in a constant state of frustration and dissatisfaction, and you'll probably end up quitting the job you love, even though it'll break your heart. So, secret number three, the number one reason why even the most amazing clients quit, and the shockingly simple solution. So let's imagine for a second that you've built your dream personal training business. You only work with clients who love you and everything is going swimmingly. Your training plan is working like a dream until the dreaded day comes when your client mentions that they've picked up some nagging little ache or pain. And neither of you probably think much of it at first because it's easy to work around, but pretty soon you are having to avoid entire movements, manage their frustrations and cajole them into believing that any tiny gains they've managed to make despite being hampered by pain are actually worth something. Eventually, you have to sit on the sidelines while they admit defeat and go to see a therapist who likely doesn't understand how soul-destroying it is to have to stop training for the four to six weeks it's likely to take for them to get anywhere with the treatment. Then, when your client comes back, you're stuck being led by your client's half-remembered, only partly understood instructions from the therapist, or waiting for their say-so to get back to full training. Now, according to research done by sportsmarketingsurveys.com, pain is the number one reason why men stop training, and the number two reason why women stop. Plus, if your personal training business is reliant on your own health to succeed, the effects of pain on you can be catastrophic. But most trainers don't pay any attention to injuries because they think that it's not their responsibility. And they're right. Treating pain is not your responsibility, and it never will be unless you decide to get qualified in that. But it doesn't mean that you have to leave the fate of your business in the lap of the gods. Fortunately, after the last 20 years of studying, treating and training people with injuries and experiencing my own, I've learned a few super cool things that will help you to fast track the results you can deliver for your clients and grow your business at the same time. So firstly, the leading causes of all non-collision sporting injuries are emotional and physical stress. Number two, you don't need to know anything about injuries to help prevent them. Uh, number three, People won't pay for something that hasn't happened, but will do anything to keep the gains they already have. And number four is that it's exactly the same problems that are causing um, your sporting injuries as your technique and performance problems. So what does this mean for you? Well, firstly, this unique approach that I've developed called injury hacking has been designed to fit seamlessly into your coaching. So you don't have to stop doing what you already do and you don't have to learn anything about injuries themselves. Secondly, protecting your clients and yourself from pain is the most powerful thing you can do to keep your business healthy and to promote your clients' results at the same time. Lastly, this unique non-painful movement tool is an easily marketable, adaptable and massively profitable weapon in your arsenal that will suit any client of any age and of any ability. So as you can see, being a successful personal trainer is a balance between you, your clients, and your ability to create 
attractive packages for them. But you can't create those attractive packages if you can't find the clients who value your strengths, you don't know where you're trying to help those people get to, or how you can make life easier for them along the way. And none of it will matter anyway if you can't keep yourself and your clients free from pain. So if you're one of those personal trainers who's serious about turning your prospects around, tackling the number one reason most clients quit, and having a unique ready-to-go income stream in the next 90 days, then I'd like to invite you to email me directly at sarahatmostmotion.com so we can see if you're a suitable candidate for my kick-ass PT success system, where we'll work together to fix and future-proof your business strategy, turn crappy clients into awesome ones, confidently handle the top reason why clients stop training, and develop an easily marketable and desperately wanted income stream so you can have clients lining up to pay you money in as little as two hours a week. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to working with you soon. The Unlocking Fitness Podcast is a Most Motion original, hosted by me, Sarah Pitts. It's based on the Unlocking Fitness book series, which you can get from unlockingfitness.com. At the time of recording, book one in the series is available, with books two to five in the pipeline. You can find more Most Motion at mostmotion.com and on Facebook at Most Motion.